Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Travis versus McNair. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Brown, you state you have begged and pleaded with your cousin to open today's case because he's being lied to and taken advantage of by Ms. McNair. You say he's so blinded by the love that he foolishly signed her child's birth certificate and you don't believe he's the father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Travis, you say you love the defendant's 22-month-old daughter, Mariah, but you now fear she may not be your child. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. McNair, you say your family has been torn apart by Mr. Travis's meddling cousin and you claim you are certain he fathered your daughter and you want to prove paternity and get his cousin out of your life. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Travis, what does Mariah mean to you? Your Honor, Mariah mean the world to me. She's everything to me. She's my heart. She's my all. And if she's my baby, I want to be her father and be there for the man that I'm supposed to be. So, you love this baby? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Travis? Yes, And you are truly torn. Yes, ma'am. Because while you love this baby and devoted to Mariah... You have some doubts. Yes, Your Honor. I do. Because I I went away 2015 in December, and when I was gone, my cousin, I actually talked to my cousin, Tiara, and she told me that Miss Sinitra was pregnant. And so while you were away, she told you Miss McNair had been intimate with other people, cheating... Yes, Your Honor. And got pregnant. And got pregnant. And he also has thighs for himself. Oh. Tiara, where your proof at, baby? I have proof. I where have proof. Show me the we proof. Show me the proof. We stay in the same complex where with each the... other. Can, we show... Can she show me the proof, Your Honor? Your Honor, I sent y'all a video of how I'm seeing her. You did submit a video. Yes, Your Honor. That shows how you caught her cheating. Yes, Your Honor. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at that. Judge Lakes, I was like, I would like to show you my point of view from where I'm seeing Miss McNair getting picked up. She's getting picked up right there. Me and are dropping her off and picking her up. From my window, you see her getting in cars, going back up to her house, and you see the cars just coming in. So you, a so you can see firsthand her getting in and out of cars. Are you a yes, stalker? Yes, Your Honor. And, and that looked like a pretty good view. Yes, it is a pretty good view. And so this isn't true, Miss McNair? No, ma'am. It's Cars not. weren't pulling in no, and out? No, ma'am, it's not. No, ma'am, it's not. While Mr. Travis was away, no. you weren't no, dating ma'am. or sexually active with anybody else? No, ma'am, I was That's not. That's a lie. Your Honor, she actually told me she had a friend guy she was talking to, and it was just But a, we was wasn't just a sexually active, thing, though. We was not sexually he's active. He's dropping you off at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, and you claim you just getting out of work. Like, and why only men? Why not a friend girl? Why only men? Why is that your business? Why only men? Why is it your business? Why only men, though? So, so a friend girl, instead of a friend guy, she needed to have. A friend guy just means a guy she friend. too many friend guys to me. So. What you got? What, what do you have, baby? Mind your business. Find you something to So, you say she has a lot of guy friends. Yes, Your Honor. And you see them coming in and out. Yes. And, it's and do you many. see her coming out to meet them? Yes, at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Tell me what's open but it at wasn't 1 or 2 o'clock on the video, in the morning. Though. It wasn't shown on the video. It don't matter. I have oh, okay. seen you. Okay, Tierra, whatever. And so you reported this back to Mr. Travis. Yes, your I cousin, have. Yes, Your Honor. That while you were away, Ms. McNair was playing. Yes. So, Mr. Travis, what was the nature of your relationship? Were you all committed? We were. You were? Yes, yes, yes Your Honor. Boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Serious Honor. relationship? Yes, Your Honor. So while yeah. you were out of town or away, Ms. McNair, you were expected to be faithful? I was, Your Honor. I had friends, but it was nothing sexually active. I'm entitled to have someone else, you know, when he's not around, but we're not sexually active at all. Why would When you, you not say around? you're entitled to have somebody else, what do you mean? Um, I do get lonely. How lonely were you? I mean, what, what, what happened here? Lonely enough to come out the house at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. That's it. That's all. So, Nothing why important. does it have to be with a guy? Why not with just a girlfriend, someone, a friend, a family member? Why guys? I have girlfriends, but it's, it's just different than, than having gr- guy friends. <laughs> I never see him. On the thing at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. you see what you want to see, baby. Yeah. Record some I of the females that I have friends with. Let they don't ever come. Ms. They McNair. Never come. Yes, ma'am. So, you are stating 
They, these were just guy friends. They were friends of yours, guys, and you'd come over. Why were they coming over at one or two in the morning? They wasn't coming over at one or two in the morning. Your Honor, Tiara's lying. She's lying. She don't... You... Baby, do you have something that you got going on or something? You're trying to put this child on my cousin when he, that's he, not she's his here, child. She's his. Was you there when we was conceiving her? No. Okay, then Your Honor, you, you have children? Oh, okay. I actually do. How many months do you supposed to be pregnant? Well, this is what we were about to get into. I know that. <sighs> and you submitted a calendar to the court because you say the timeline is off. My timeline was on. She was pregnant for a year, though. <laughs> a calendar? Am I right? <laughs> But you say Ms. McNair's timeline is off. Yes. So you submitted a calendar to the court. Yes, ma'am. No. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> if you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Can you tell the court what you have outlined? Yes, ma'am, I can. My cousin, he went away in December. We found out in February, early March. Mariah is born in October, so... The time just don't add up, Your Honor. If Mariah was born in October, you count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh -huh. That'd be 11 months. M might as well be a year. Which means <laughs> the you window need to mind your of business, baby. You need to find you something to do and talk about besides me and my relationship, honey. You've been pregnant a year, though. Almost a year. It just don't... It just don't <laughs> add up, you It's you not. Right. It don't Whatever, add up. A whole year? Whatever, Tierra. I just... thought nine months. That's how long I was pregnant, nine months? No, you was pregnant a year. Was you with me? Almost Was a year. you with me, though? No. Oh, okay. So, wait so. a minute. Even if we relied on your testimony and calculated the window of conception based upon an October 3rd birthday, it was still fall in January. I found that I was pregnant in January, though. In January of 2016. But you told us in February, early That's March. That's when I told him in February, Why? Sweetheart. Why? Why is that your business? If you're pregnant in January, why because are you telling him in March? Because I was waiting until I go to a doctor and no, confirm that I was pregnant no, before I let him. No. So, Miss... But, but, Miss McNair, I do want to understand if the window of conception would have been in January for an October 3rd birthday... That's when Mr. Travis was away and you've testified that that is true. That's not his baby. Tara, you concerned more, uh, more about me than baby. you is your own self, honey. Because I know who Where my your baby man, baby? Where is. you got a man? So, I listen, baby listen. Is. So, right, the sure truth is, for these past two years, Mr. Travis... Yes, Your Honor. You've been completely devoted to Mariah. Yes, Your Honor. You've helped raise her. Yes, Your Honor. Love her, been her father figure. Halfway. Were you at the birth? Yes, ma'am, I was. Yes, Your Honor. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Because he's stupid. That's stupid. Just mind your business, baby. So, wait a minute. So, what I do want to understand, Ms. Brown, you are very protective over your cousin because you feel like he's fall He's in love with Ms. McNair and he's falling in love with this baby. She's jealous But he's man. not paying attention to the fact. Yes, and she's taking advantage of that. Oh. She mad because she ain't got nobody to love her like he loved me. She mad. I just know who my baby's no relationship. daddy is. She's mad. So, Mr. Travis, when you sign this birth certificate, I realize you see a beautiful baby, and even if you're hoping it's yours, that doesn't mean you don't have doubt. Did you have doubt when you signed this birth certificate? Yes, Your Honor, I would be honest. I had doubt, but, you know, I asked Miss Sinitra about it, but she just told me that it's my baby. She, that's all she kept telling me, that it's my baby. And he's stupid because he believed her. And then even with the doubt, two years, Mariah's <laughs> almost two, you stuck by her? Yes, Your Honor. I mean, I grew up without a father, Your Honor. And I, wanted, I, told, I always told myself, if I have any child in this world, that I'm going to be better than my father. I want to be there every day, every step of the way for my kid. But that's not your child. Again, was you there when we was Stop conceiving her? Stop saying your child. When you look at the calendar we presented, did that increase your doubt? Yes, Your Honor, because to be honest, it don't, it don't add up to me. Like, if you was pregnant, why would you tell me towards the middle of March, beginning of... the middle of February, beginning of March? I feel like if you were pregnant, you should have told me then when you and first you got pregnant. And you found that in January, as she say now. And so, what reason would it be for her to hold off telling him unless it's just what she said... She was waiting to get a confirmation from her doctor. Because he's not the father, that's why. 
<laughs> it don't take that long for a doctor to tell you if you're so pregnant Ms. or McNair, not. So, Miss McNair, were you dating anybody else? Were you involved with anybody no, else? No, Your Honor, I was not dating anyone or involved. Stop I had a lying, friend. Like I please. said, I did. But sexually, no, ma'am. But when you say you have a friend, you're just saying you just keep in company. He's just talking. You yes. all don't have a sexual interest in no, one ma another? No, ma'am. We do not. That's hard for even this court to believe. <laughs> That's hard for her to believe. I don't even know why she's sitting over there lying like that. And they're coming at one in the morning. <laughs> right. As she said, you Ain't know, she hasn't late. seen nobody come to my house at one... This video looked like it was in the daytime to me. Right. So what you're saying is her testimony is completely false because yes, she's just trying to sway her cousin against Yes, ma'am. She's been doing it no, since we've been together. No, I'm not. Ago. Ain't nothing open. <laughs> At one or two o'clock in the morning, but legs, baby. So you you Stop know, it. don't you? You know, don't you? Legs. You do know, don't you? Tia, I got kids, baby. I I've been in the house with my kids at that time of the morning. I don't have no business being out with no men. Right, you was pregnant for a year, right? Almost a year. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, listen. There's a lot at stake here because Mr. Travis has grown extremely attached to Mariah. She has his last name. He's blind. Signed He's the birth certificate. He did, Your Honor. He did. He's blind. But, Ms. McNair, when you looked at that calendar, you saw that it didn't add up. What is your response to that? <laughs> that calendar is a lie, Your Honor. That calendar is a lie. <laughs> Tia, her, whatever. She her, just said she felt that in January. But January's. her birth date is a lie. <laughs> the birth date is not a lie. The window of conception, <laughs> that window wouldn't be a lie. Oh, no. Is there something you just don't want to say? We're in court now. I always tell people when you're in this courtroom, it ain't no more shame in your game. Hmm. Let's just deal with the truth and the facts because at the end of the day, it's not for us, it's for the baby. Just tell You have admitted in this sneaky. court you were lonely. You've admitted in this court that he was away. You've admitted in this court that that is a correct date for Mariah's birthday. It is. But you're just saying that you only had friends you just had conversation with. Yes, ma'am. Nothing more. Jerome, they ain't got nothing to say, so I'm gonna let the DNA do the talk. <laughs> That's all I'm waiting on. That's all I'm waiting on. That's all I'm waiting on. One thing before I read these results, because you say you didn't tell Mr. Travis till almost February, March you were pregnant. Were, did you get to see him while he was away? Were you in touch with him? Were you talking on the phone? I was talking to him, but I didn't see him. No, ma'am, I did not. At this point, this would be a medical miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. We just ain't 11 months pregnant. Right. Seriously. And if that's his baby, God is good. If that's his baby... <laughs> if that's his baby, honey, y'all owe me apology, sweetheart. If that's his baby, you owe me apology, baby. All right. And I want it. Ms. McNair says she wants an apology, Ms. Brown. I hope you're prepared. I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to know the truth, Your Honor. And you deserve to know the truth. He really Young do. man, you do. You do. Mm -hmm. 22 months is a long time to love a baby. You can fall in love with a baby in 22 seconds. You really do need to know. And that's why we do this, and that's why I have these results for you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Travis versus McNair, when it comes to 22-month-old Mariah Travis, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Travis, you are not the father. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am very, very sorry. I know that is not what you wanted to hear. I'm so sorry. Can you express to this court, Mr. Travis, what you are feeling? A whole lot of pain, y'all, because I put my heart into that little girl. And to find out that she's not mine, it hurts. It's 22 months of just pain you could have avoided. Because you know what, Miss McNair, you weren't surprised. You let him sign 
the birth certificate. You've let him for 22 months be in this baby's life. Love her, take care of her. Don't roll your eyes up at me, honey. You could have avoided this. You knew the whole time. So all this test of lying you've been doing got us here. Soon as I got my hand on that envelope. Oh, Lord. Jerome, get her. Oh. I'm hot. I'm hot. Okay. I'm real hot. Okay, let me get you some water. Call the medic. Jesus. Call the medic, okay. please. You good, man? Take a few deep breaths, okay? Huh? Okay. She said she's really hot. Mm-hmm. Jerome, can you please stand with Miss McNair, please? Okay. I want to make sure she's okay. You feel better? I'm good. Yes, ma'am. There's a lot of things, Miss McNair, I can see behind your eyes that only you know, and you can share it when you're ready. But I do believe so much of this, of this pain, of this hurt, of this entire confusing saga could have been avoided with the truth. Living out with lies, living this out, that's no way to live. That's a lot to carry. Dr. Jeff is standing by. I want you to go, I want you to talk to him, and I want you to start working through that. Because you know what, Miss McNair, I don't want to see you back in here again. I don't, honey. All right, I wish you the best. Court is adjourned.